What is up you guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are reacting to 10 Pokemon that actually exist in real life. I mean, I guess most most of most of the Pokemon when they were created, they must have came from some type of idea or something from like real life or something. You know, they, they would have came from somewhere. So, I mean, let's check out some of them in this video. Let's get in this video and let go. 10 Pokemon that actually exist in real life. Number one, Do they actually though? Drowsy. Drowsy is Drowsy. a mysterious looking Pokemon. He looks like a sloth or some type of something. It's like a hippo bottom and like a sloth. Bottom. Who was inspired by Baku. Baku. The name Baku has two meanings in Japanese. Oh. The first is a Malaysian caper, which is a vegetarian pig. The other meaning is a mythical Japanese creature that enters a person's dreams and nightmares. Oh, what? He may look scary, but he's actually very he looks ugly as fuck. He has, however, oh, that's put cute, actually. To sleep from Never time mind, I take time. back the ugly thing. Number two, Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu was, is one of the really most bad. recognized of all bad, Pokemon, and he's also the Pikachu. cutest. He Pikachu. is an electric type mouse. I can't do it. I can't do it. To be the Pokemon mascot. The inspiration of Pikachu comes from a mouse-like creature called a Pika Mouse. They're That's actually so cute, man. I, I just recently went to, when I was in uh, DC for Playlist, when I was in Washington DC for Playlist, I went to like the Smithsonian Zoo, and dude, I think this mouse was there or something. I don't know. There was a lot of cute little creatures and stuff in there. That's actually a big-ass zoo. I thought it was a small zoo, but it, it's actually really big. And it's free too, so like if you're ever in DC, visit Smithsonian Zoo. One of my I think it's it's my favorite zoo that I've ever been to so far. Like there's so many exhibits, so many reptiles, so many animals. It's crazy. There's so many things there. Like there's so many the there's so many regions in there's Asia. just so much to see. There it's are awesome. actually twenty three species of this mouse, and most are found in China and Tibet. This animal is very rare. There are only about 1,000 Pika mice in the oh, world. Oh damn, they're so they adorable. They make a very high-pitched sound, just like a Pikachu does. One <laughs> is as equally adorable as the other. They're Number so six, adorable. Magikarp. Magikarp. The Magikarp is a water Pokemon. Mm -hmm. In order to transform Magikarp into something that is useful, you would need to catch thousands. He's interesting in his current form. Magikarp is inspired by the yellow rockfish. The two actually look identical to one another. What? The only difference between the two is that the yellow rockfish can do much more damage than the Magikarp. Number four. Okay. Emolga. Emolga is one of the most adorable Pokemon right next to Pikachu. He is Emolga a is like an ugly ass Pokemon. Name. Also, he doesn't evolve. He gets his inspiration from the flying squirrel. Hey, Both the flying squirrel and Emolga can glide thanks to the membranes between their arms and legs. Nice. Emolga, however, is always battle ready as he can store electricity in his membranes. He's also known to make adorable puppy Aww, dog eyes puss in boots, in the hearts hey. of his opponents, the same way that Puss in Boots does in the movie Shrek. No gotcha. Wasn't Pokemon created before Shrek though? When did Pokemon come out? Pretty sure Shrek came afterwards, didn't it though? I don't know. Puss in Boots has been like an idea for a while. Like, like Poliwag is a water type tadpole. It's inspired by the translucent Poliwag Whoa. with proposed cuts in the head that resemble the swirly lines of the translucent Poliwag. Poliwag is much cuter than the real life translucent <laughs> no Poliwag. The two are very similar, and they both have a similar personality. Number six, Caterpie. Caterpie. Caterpie is one of the most Isn't common Caterpie, Pokemon though? around, and he was one of Ash's Caterpie. first catches. Caterpie. Just by looking at Caterpie, you can tell that his inspiration came from the Caterpillar. The oh, specific <laughs> type that gave the Pokemon creators their inspiration for Caterpie is the Easter Tiger Swallowtail it's Caterpillar. Ugly as fuck. Most Pokemon who are inspired by an actual <laughs> plant or creature have a few- Yo, Pika Pikachu's being a bandit, man. He's an amigo now wearing that damn handkerchief, man. They're all wearing handkerchiefs. They all amigos. Damn. The case with the Caterpie. The resemblance is so close that it looks like someone went outside, found an Easter Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar, and plugged it right into the game. Damn. Number seven, Venusaur. Venusaur. 
Venusaur has red eyes, and his distinct feature is a massive flower growing out the top of his head. Uh, he's fruity. The flower on his head is said to be so heavy that the Pokemon has trouble supporting itself. Well, no this shit. This Pokemon got his inspiration from the Raflisa Arnoldi, which is the largest flower in the world. It is most commonly found in the rainforests of Indonesia. Okay. The flower can grow up to three feet across and weigh up to 15 pounds. Shit. Unlike most flowers, this one does not smell good. It actually smells like rotting meat. Oh. Right, the victory. I don't bell. want to be near it now. I was like, this I want to go check out that flower. Scary Pokemon. Oh, no. Its inspiration is also very scary. The victory bell is based on the pitcher plants. The pitcher plant is carnivorous and very dangerous. This plant contains a fluid which attracts insects into the plant, where they are then trapped. The plant will absorb the nutrients from the body of the insects for their own nourishment. While Victory Damn. Bell is not quite as dangerous Savage. as the pitcher plant, it is. It looks close. like that one a... character. I don't know if it was. I, I don't think it's Rocky Horror Picture Show, but it's like one of those like older movies like that, and it's it's one of those like Venus flytraps type thing. It's like really big and it's like real life type. It, it, it looks like not even cartoon. Like it looks like a real life film. But like it was like it was like a robot or something that they used for the film or something. Um, but it was an older film or something, I think. I just don't know what it was called, but it was like this Venus flytrap and like oh, I don't know what it's from, but it was kinda creepy. I'm for sure it wasn't Rocky Horror Picture Show. It was definitely not Rocky Horror, because like this it was like the whole movie with this Venus flytrap or something. But I really forget. What is that? I'm getting some type of notif. What is that? Okay, I don't know what that is. All right, let's continue. While Victory Bell is not quite as dangerous as the Pitcher Plant, it is pretty close. He has a very high attack level with a lower defense level. This makes them angry and always on watch. The good thing about Victory Bell is that he has a normal happiness level. Therefore, he only needs to be feared when he feels threatened or when he says love disc. Attack. Number nine, <laughs> love disc. It looks like a booty. <laughs> love disc is a water Pokemon <laughs> who is shaped like a heart. Aww. She is based on the kissing garami, which is an adorable fish Aww. that puckers up as though he's getting ready to give a kiss. Aww. When the fish kisses, That's adorable. it's not doing so to be loving and cute. It actually makes that face when it's fighting. <laughs> The love disc is not quite as mean as his counterpart, though. Just by looking at him, you know that he's one of the <laughs> most lovable Pokemon. But if challenged, he certainly can defend himself. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. I've heard that name, Devs. Bulbasaur is a dual type of Pokemon. He is a grass slash poison. It just Pokemon, looks like he is an And he's been around on his since the something. first generation. He is a reptile, and he's inspired Garlic, by maybe? a frog. He has the exact body hmm. traits of a frog, and he has a bulb on his back. The coolest thing about Bulbasaur is that oh, he's also okay. traveled to Mario Smash Brothers, and you can see <laughs> that he has gone well Smash out of Rose. the realm of Pokemon from time to time. Damn. Oh, all right. Well, that is the well, that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually didn't know that. You know, like. There's some there's some really like unique creatures. There's some really unique animals and creatures out there that I've never heard of and it's really it's really cool to see them for the first it's really cool to like see a picture of it for the first time or even see it in real life. Even at the Smithsonian Zoo, I was like I might have heard of some of the animals and reptiles and whatnot, but I've never actually seen it in real life and I was like it's right in front of my eyes, like that's crazy. And there's some other things that I didn't even know was real and I was Dude, like, that's crazy. Like, I, I read so much at the at that zoo. It was awesome. It, it was such a great day. Uh, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. If you did, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure to go follow me up on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway at 50,000 followers. Uh, I'll be giving away my merch. I'll leave a clip right now uh, showing you guys what I'll be giving away. Let's get to it. This is the merch that I am going to be giving away at 50,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, first, we have... Uh, just my wristband. It says it says my ad on it and my logo, and then uh, and then on the inside it says just do you. It's like a little message. Then we got the crew neck, the unicorn Hayden DeVoe crew neck, and then uh, just um, the Hayden DeVoe and logo on a baseball tee. 
Uh, so basically, this one is more guys, and the rest, I guess, are more girls. But you know, you a, a guy can I can see a guy rocking this definitely. Just kidding, that's that's like a girl slim fit tee. But I can see a guy rocking that, and most likely that too. So um, from the unicorn, we move on to we have property of Hayden Devoe. Uh, that's a baseball tee as well, and of course the Stay Sexy shirt, uh, which is a ladies slim fit tee. I'm actually going to be giving away one of each shirt. So there will be four winners, and each winner will get a band in their package as well, along with a sign note from me. And yeah, so there you guys go. I'll be giving away one of these shirts to four lucky winners at 50,000 followers on Instagram. So make sure to go follow that up. Appreciate it. Love you guys so much. So yes, I'll be giving away four shirts, one of each design. So help me get to 50,000 followers on Instagram. I'll make sure to post a picture with those shirts uh, when I hit 50,000. And uh, then, who, like, I'll just get you guys to comment, like, spam comments on the photo, and then I'll pick four winners. And uh, doesn't matter where you live, it's a worldwide giveaway. It's a worldwide giveaway, it doesn't matter where you live, I'll send it to you guys. Just because I love you guys so much, and I feel like I just need to give back to you, like, all the time, because you guys overwhelm me in love. Um, much love for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, like this video up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Damn, I've... I keep saying if you haven't already, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, if you haven't already. My bad. Alright. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.